This is Loki. He is a three-month-old schnauzer puppy and he has never been groomed. So we're just doing a quick introduction to tools today. It's really important for your puppy to have a positive experience with grooming very early, especially when grooming is going to be a big part of their life. Schnauzers should be groomed every six to eight weeks and brushed and combed daily at home, especially their beards. Dog owners slash pet parents have a tendency to accidentally reward bad behavior. For example, if I was brushing him or combing him and he was trying to bite the tool, they would stop and be, it's okay, it's okay, and actually be enforcing that naughty behavior. Not on purpose. I mean, we just want to comfort our animals and make sure that they feel okay. But my suggestion, if your dog is weird about the tools, you have to go slow. And that means one little swipe with the brush, no reaction, good boy, good boy, good boy, give them their praise. And that's going to help you to be able to do two swipes, three swipes, and eventually be able to get them to be calm and accepting of the tools. Another mistake people make is waiting until it looks like they need grooming or they've developed some tangles. No dog wants to be dematted, tugged, pulled, tangles removed, and it's going to be a bad experience if there's a lot of tangles. This is why I recommend daily brushing and combing because it makes it to where you're not brushing the tangles and it's becoming kind of part of their routine. Maintaining your dog's coat is not easy, and sometimes your schedule doesn't allow for grooming at home or making that time, which is why a lot of people will opt to A, do more frequent grooming, or B, keep their dog super short and manageable for their time and schedule. If you get a high-maintenance dog, it's important to talk to your groomer about what haircut will best suit your lifestyle and keep them as comfortable as possible. I like to introduce each tool to the dog. I let Loki smell everything and he's really relaxed. He's pretty chill about everything. He's I'm really excited about this because I was telling mom that I have never met a white schnauzer that is good for grooming. So this is definitely a good sign that he's like, whatever about getting his nails done. He's curious and curiosity really makes a big difference. When a dog's not curious about stuff, I get a little bit on edge because I can't really predict what they're going to do. I make sure and reward his good behavior by giving lots of pets and lots of loves. I keep him close to my body so that he feels safe and comfortable because sometimes when they're up on the table, it's a little bit scary. They're up pretty high and it's a whole new experience for them. It's really important for your puppy to get used to different sensations. So I'm just lightly using the brush on him so that he can kind of see, okay, this is a good tool. This is all right. Oh, this is a good tool. This is all right. I, I can I can deal with dish. Again, it helps so much that I'm not sitting there trying to tug out any tangles or anything. And he says, he says, dish dish grooming business. I think that I can I think that I can handle dish. I, I'm look at me. I, I'm being a big boy. And we just got to stop for a big love break now because he's doing so good. He says, I got combed and I got my nails done with those nail trimmers right there. And I I really like you and my, my sisters. And they said, my sisters Lay, Layla and Zoe said that you're a very nice lady. What What's that? What are those? I like to make the scissor sound next to them so they can kind of hear it before I start trimming in front of the eyes. Since he didn't have a reaction to the sound of the scissors, I went ahead and just started using the thinning shears in front of his eyes to get those little hairs out. Letting the puppy's head rest in the palm of my hand really gives me a lot of control without using a lot of restraint. Letting his head rest on the palm of my hand gives me a lot of control without using a lot of forceful restraint. He says, I, I'm very excited to be able to see you without looking through little spiky hairs in front of my eyes. So I'm just going to go ahead and let you do all dish. Some groomers like to shave in front of the eyes, but for the first time, I feel like it's a lot more gentle and nicer for the dog to just get them thinning sheared. It takes a lot more time, but it's a really quiet and easy way to do it. And I say, good boy. 
good boy Loki. And so I'm just pulling hairs up so that I can get them. And yeah, he says, I, I, I'm very good at this. Aren't you proud of me? And I said, yes, I'm very proud of you. Of course, he wouldn't be a schnauzer without some eyebrows. So after another good love break, I'm going to get in between his eyebrows and, oh, did I do it already? I guess I already did it. What am I doing? He says, what are you doing? I don't know. Oh, you're getting, what is that? I don't know what that is. I turn the clippers on and I let him investigate with them on because they're kind of loud and I don't want him to be afraid of the noise. Plus, I want to gauge his reaction to the noise. Since he seems pretty okay with it, I'm going to start easy and just trim a little hair off his genital area so that pee doesn't get stuck there. It's also called a sanitary area. We're not doing a haircut today, but I do want to rub the clippers while they're on uh, over his body just so he can see that they're not going to do anything that's going to hurt him. And it also gives him that vibrating sensation. And he's a little apprehensive about this. He's not really sure what to do, and which is normal. He's three months old. Like, he's only been in the universe for three months. So after that, I go in and shave under his tail. This will make it to where when he goes to the bathroom, it won't get poopy stuck. Another love break for a reward. And I'm going to do a little more desensitiz desensitizing with the clippers just so... Again, he can see it's a good time. He says, I think I, I'd rather just climb you. And um, can we be done with this now? So if there's anything that you take away from this video, frequent grooming, talk to your groomer about what is best for your dog in terms of haircut and your lifestyle. Always let them come in as soon as possible. As soon as they have their first two sets of shots, please, please, please let us see them. Even if it's for something like this with just a little cleanup. Oh, there, now I'm doing his eyebrows. I thought I was going to do it earlier, but I didn't. Brush and comb daily. And if you're not sure what tools are best for your dog, there is a page on my website where I list all the brushes based on what type of dog you have, what kind of coat you have. Um, I'll put that in a link in the comments. And um, he says, I did, I did a very good job. Look how cute I am. And in a couple weeks, I'm going to get my full groom. I'm going to get a bath and everything. So stay tuned. <laughs> You made it to the end. You made it to the end. I appreciate you watching my videos to the end. <laughs> oh, thank you guys for being here. I, again, I always say this. I really love reading your comments. So please send me a message. Leave me a comment. I love talking to you guys. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.